Hi guys, it's Maya here, for the first time featuring my very own voice. Uh, here I'm going to make a layout scrap listing my old layout made a few years ago. So at first I'm gonna choose some papers to work with. Uh, these are from the Hades Swap Pineapple Crush collection and also showing you a couple of the embellishments that I'm going to use. These ones that are beautiful from Creative Devotion I ended up not using, but hey, at least they look pretty on the background. Uh, so at first I'm gonna go ahead and cut the mint background paper a little bit smaller. Uh, three centimeters off each side. Then I'm putting a little bit of tape on the edges so that it stays put. There we go. And then I'll do the stitching around the edges. And there, the stitching has magically appeared. And then I'm just pulling this thread on the other side. And there. I need to take it close to my eyes. But there, no thread is sewing on the side. Then I'm going to be cutting the little banners of these pattern papers. I'll be using both sides of most of the papers. Uh, I'll cut them into squares, six by nine centimeters, and after that, make them into the actual banner shape. So then I will be making the batteries. I'm going to start with making a slit in the center of each rectangle. Approximately one and a half centimeters long. Then it's time to get crafty with the scissors. This is the way I always make banners whenever I use them. So then I just cut from the corners towards the center and voila, you have a beautiful banner. Then it's time to clean up the scrap pieces and organize the row of batters. Trying to figure out the best order to put them in. I decided only to use one of the pink ones just to have like a little pop of color. Like a contrast to the others. And now I'm just figuring out how to put them there. I love the black and white in the middle, gives a nice focus in the middle, the whole thing. And there, I think I found the perfect order. So then I'm going to adhere each of the banners into the background.
then it's time to do a little bit more stitching. So there you can see I stitched along the edge of the banners. And now I'm trying to figure out which photo to use. These are from our vacation to Maldives last November. In the original I had the vertical one, but now I'm leaning towards the horizontal picture so that it doesn't cover up the banners as much. And then I'm trying to figure out which background to put onto the picture. And disappearing for a while, I didn't have white cardstock there at hand. Which I was mostly wanting to use. I tried this one, but the black lettering was showing through the picture. So then I was reaching out to my stash to get the white cardstock to put in the background. And it actually took a while. I didn't have a big piece next to me, so I had to actually stand up and get one. But there I found a good piece. I'm going to adhere it and then just freehand cut it to get a nice little white border onto the picture. Something stuck there into the picture, but never mind. So then, for the fun part, some embellishments. These glitter foam stickers are from American Crafts. They are called Chill and they go perfectly together with the Heidi Swap papers. And I do love the awesome rose gold or copper glitter on them. I had set my mind on the paradise word as it is perfectly fitting for this amazing picture of me and my husband sitting there on a beach on the beautiful island of Sun Island in Maldives. So I'm using the ruler to get the letters nicely there so that they are aligned perfectly. And then quickly adhering the photo into the center. I like using this technique as it helps me to put down several letters at once and then the dice to paradise underneath there Now I'm trying to figure out what other embellishment to use, sticker to use from there. Decided to go with this beautiful leaf and it gave me a hard time coming off the actual sheet. So I had to actually rip it out and then get really close to it to get the actual paper off the, off the sticker. But I managed to do it. Then for the tricky part, where to put the beautiful leaf? Just trying to imagine it somewhere on the page. I think it's a nice contrast to have it on the other side from the paradise so that it's not too glitter heavy on the lower side of the page and then decided that it's best to hide it a little bit under the photo and as it is a foam sticker I had to go to my stash and get a little foam stickers to put on the other side of the photo as well so it also lifts it up on the other side as well Then 
I'm trying to figure out what to do next. In the original layout that I did, I used these little fray stickers all over the banner, so I wanted to do that on this one as well. And I used these, these stickers from Freckle Fawn and chose some very fitting phrases for this, this picture. So then I'm adding a little glitter heart and then trying to figure out what else to put. I tried one sticker from the sticker collection but I didn't quite like the fact that the back of the sticker is a little bit wide so it doesn't show off nicely on the mint background. But then I reached out to my stash of animal dots which I have <laughs> quite a lot of and decided to put a few of these by Eco Park that are quite similar to the color of the background so I like that they kind of look like water drops and just drop them here and there onto the layout. So there you have it. This scrap lifting layout is done. I hope you like it.